The world is at war with a virus. The enemy is invisible, it's microscopic, and it is elusive, and it can be dangerous if ignored. Today, we take a look at the footprint of the disease across the globe and how the world is waging a battle against it. The interactive map we are using for this video has been published by Microsoft's team Bing and it has culled its data from reliable sources like the WHO and others. So this tracker gives us live updates about the spread of the in contagious COVID-19. So let's start off with Asia, where China and Wuhan in China was the epicenter of the disease. Over there, the cases seem to have stabilized, it's reported to be stabilized. And active cases are 8,965, recovered cases are 68,690. So the recovered cases far surpass the active cases as well as the fatal cases, which stand at 3,226. Another place where the virus has really uh, wreaked havoc was South Korea. However, they're dealing with it very well. Now the active cases have fallen to 68. 6,838, recovered cases are 1,401 and fatalities are 81. Meanwhile, Japan is also fighting its own battle against the disease with active cases at 626, recovered cases at 164, fatal cases at 24. Let me remind my viewers that I'm doing this uh, video at 12.32 p.m. India time and these are the updates as of now. This is a live tracker so it gets updated every few hours. Now, if we take a look at how Asia has been battling this disease, Asia, the cases in Asia have been stabilizing over the last uh, several weeks now. China had witnessed a peak in the diseases in the cases of COVID-19, but now fresh cases are falling. So there's a deceleration in the number of fresh cases of COVID-19. However, Southeast Asian countries are afraid of a surge in new cases because of travel. They're worrying that imported cases may bring a second surge of the COVID-19. And to prevent that, many of these nations have imposed travel restrictions. In fact, travel restrictions are there across the globe at this point in time. People coming in from other countries are forced into quarantine. In China, in fact, in some parts, they're being forced into quarantine at their own expenses. Now, if we take a look at what India is doing, India, the current number of cases here, active cases, as of now have reached 125 and fatalities are at 3 as of Tuesday morning. If we take a look at the neighborhood of India, there is Pakistan where there are 181 active cases and one fatality, recovered cases are two. In Sri Lanka, there is uh, there are 27 active cases, one person has recovered. In Bangladesh, meanwhile, there are five active cases and three people have recovered, no deaths in Nepal. Uh, in Nepal, there are about... Uh, only one recovered case, so there is no active case in the neighborhood right now. As far as Afghanistan is concerned, 20 people are infected and one person has recovered. There has been no fatality. But India, meanwhile, has ramped up its uh, preventive measures against the disease. And a few days ago, the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, on March 16th, had uh, called an emergency video conferencing uh, meet of all the SARC nations, the South Asian Association of Regional Cooperation Nations to battle the coronavirus together. And India has pledged $10 million towards an emergency COVID fund. And this is a voluntary fund where other people, other nations of the SARC can also contribute. So the SARC nations together are trying to battle this disease together and suppress it before it infects. Uh, the large number of population that Southeast, these nations, in fact, have. If we take a look at the Middle East now, traveling towards the West, Iran, Iran of course, is the hotbed of COVID-19 cases outside China. In Iran, there are 9,142 active cases, 4,996 recovered cases, and 853 fatalities. In the neighborhood of Iran, there's Iraq that has 91 active cases, 10 fatalities. In, uh, say, Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan has 18 active cases, 6 recovered cases. Saudi Arabia has 127 active cases, 6 people have recovered. Qatar has 435 cases, 4 have recovered. Abu uh, United Arab Emirates has 72 cases, 
26 people have recovered. In these countries, there have been no fatalities yet. Syria, which is in turmoil, the war-ravaged country, has four active cases and three fatalities. So the Middle East, which is often under turmoil, which is often under political instability, the troubles there are being compounded by the virus and the Middle East, of course, has also imposed lockdown across the nations. The prayers are being cancelled, bars and cafes are being closed, fights are being grounded, festivals and even pilgrimages are being called off. In fact, uh, the Umrah is for now. No foreign tourists are being permitted to do that. If we take a look at Europe, now, traveling further to the West, Europe has become the epicenter. The epicenter has shifted from China and moved to Europe currently. And remember, Europe has witnessed two world wars already and the measures being taken right now to fight the virus are nothing short of a war against it. France, Italy, Spain, these countries are under lockdown. In fact, France has... Uh, deployed 100,000 police personnel to enforce the lockdown and at fixed checkpoints that have been set up across the country. People are going to be punished, in fact, if they do not follow these preventive measures. As told by the French President Emmanuel Macron, he apologized because these measures are unprecedented, but he says the circumstances demand it. If I quote him, he says, that we are not up against another army or another nation, but the enemy is right there, invisible, elusive, but it is making progress. So at peacetime, Europe has warlike measures across the expanse of the land. If we travel further west, then we come to the America. United States of America has reported several cases as of now, and interestingly, if we look at Canada, Canada has 426 active cases, 11 people have recovered and four fatalities have been reported. So the spread is far and wide in the United States as well. If we look at specific states, California reports 442 active cases, six recoveries, six fatalities. These big blots show that these regions are more intensely affected than other places. The state of Washington has 855 active cases and 48 deaths. One person has recovered. There's another big blot over here at New York, which has 945 active cases and five deaths. If you look at Florida, there are 137 active cases and five deaths. This is Louisiana that has 133 active cases and three deaths. So the disease has spread across the length and breadth of the United States and the battle against it, is, against it is also picking up. In fact, the United States has tested the first vaccine for the COVID-19 and the first human trial of a vaccine to protect against the pandemic coronavirus has already begun in the United States. So this vaccine is being called mRNA1273 and the first trial has begun but of course it will take at least 18 months from now for this vaccine to be uh, if to see whether the vaccine is safe and effective and whether it can be administered to patients of the coronavirus globally. For now that is all. Thanks for watching.